bells ringing in my ear Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out for rain, these are falling down We we'll stay up waiting for Santa tonight He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me Come with me, this is a vlog Of how I get Christmas done Lakeisha's way Alright I love coffee, I love coffee This coffee is so good <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get started on the trees y'all After I finish this delicious coffee This is my nine footer and I was not going to put this up this year because really the only place I can put this is in my foyer area because it's so tall. Um, I mean, I can put it in a regular area, but it's going to almost touch the ceiling. So I have to figure out where I'm going to put it because I kind of want to decorate my foyer. If I put this tree in the foyer, I won't be able to decorate the foyer. So that's my dilemma. So. Um, let me think about where I'm going to put this tree and then I'll show you where I put it and I'll start fluffing it. So first tree, like eight to go. <laughs> um, so if you can see what I mean, my foyer goes way up. So the nine footer, I usually put it right here, which blocks the banister, but I want to decorate that this year. Um, so I want to put the nine footer on this side. Like I've never done that before. Come on. I never done that before so I'm gonna put it on this side so just the tip can be right here so it, it won't look like it's touching the ceiling everybody I'm about to tackle this tree I am putting on my um, cut resistant sleeves because I have been working with trees for a long time and they always scratch up my arms so I bought these off Amazon they're cut resistant but they're sleeves and gloves so I put these on to fluff out the trees to save my skin <laughs> from the branches of the tree. And I'm gonna show you why the sleeves are important because I've had, at first I started off with gloves, but then my arms were still getting cut up. With the, my hands weren't getting cut up, but my arms were getting cut up. So now I have cut resistant gloves. <laughs> so, okay, let me show you how I do this. So what I'm gonna do um, with these branches, um, when you fluff out your tree, you always have to start with the bottom and work your way up because you can see that way. If you start at the top and work your way down, you can see. And always start fluffing from the inside out. Now see why I, you see why I need these gloves? Because now I gotta go in here and fluff all the way out. And this is my biggest tree, my nine foot tree. So I'm gonna just speed up the video so you can see me do this, but um, I go all the way in and I'm sitting in a chair to save my back. Um, so that's why I don't see a lot of people doing is sitting in a chair. I have to save my back, so I'm sitting in a chair. I 
back, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. They say the same name, but you gotta be in that back, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. They say the same name, but you gotta be in that back, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. They said same Nick, but you gotta bend that back. I got racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, baby Rain is coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay I buy Christmas trees, they rotate And so if you want your tree to rotate, you just buy this one from Amazon you buy the base and replace the base that came with the tree with this and it will make any tree rotate and these are about in terms of price these bases are about the last time I bought one it was like twenty dollars and it's easy to put together just snap the bottoms on and then you can start and stop the tree from rotating right there it's a very sturdy base too so it can handle a heavy tree so here's the The snow is laid two feet deep Now wish upon a falling star So all your secret dreams can come true There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing When December is when the children are singing everybody so this is day two um a lot of stuff happened i even went to hobby lobby so i'll show you what i got from hobby lobby um for one of the trees but i'm working on fluffing out this white tree now and then um i just want to show you really quickly um these other two trees um and excuse my house is disheveled a little bit um because a lot going on but um so I have this tree right here, but I forgot about my village, which normally goes over there. So if I leave this tree here, you won't be able to see the village. So I might have to move it. I really like this tree right here because as soon as you walk in, you see this tree. And then you can also see how I have the white tree like diagonally off to the side so you can see that tree too. So I think the only tree I might move is this one and I might have to move it back in front of the stairs um it is what it is um and then let me oh let me share with you this in here so this is my um this is my family room and this is another tree that I'm about to fluff so you'll see me fluffing this one really big tree that's like a seven and a half footer um, so that's right when you first walk in and then I have the two two trees over here um, these will be my main trees I set up by the fireplace I have a these are my two flock trees um, if I have extra money I'll try to find a pencil flock tree to I just feel like I need a third tree over there as if I don't have enough trees but uh, right now, I'm just going to work with these two to see how that goes. And finally, um, in the kitchen, oh, I have, to, I have to do this one too. Um, 
in the kitchen I have to uh, fluff out this tree this is going to be my gingerbread tree in the kitchen so those are all my trees um, and I need to fluff three of them so let me get started with fluffing those and then I'll show you my um, what I got my small haul of things I got from Hobby Lobby because Lord knows I don't need too many things so I had to just get a small haul because I do have a vision for the theme like this is the gingerbread tree so I'll tell you about my other things later but right now let me finish just fluffing out these trees <laughs> What do you want to say to the people? It's, I, a, it's a Christmas video, so what do you want to say about Christmas? Hi, mm. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you uh, ready for Christmas? Yes. Did you see me in the last video? Okay. Yeah, they might answer you. They might not. Okay. He's such a ham. All right. So, I finished all the trees. I finished this one. I finished the white one. I finished the one in the kitchen. So now I am, and thank God for these cut resistant gloves. So now, um, and if you hear something popping, that's Jaden's popcorn. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you what I got from Hobby Lobby because in the next video, I am going to be decorating these trees. So let's see what I got. All right, everybody. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I got just a little bit of extra things. Um, as I said before, I already have a lot from previous years, so I'm just picking up just some essentials. Um, so I got this beautiful um, wrapping paper because sometimes I wrap 
um, art pieces in the house so instead of buying like a new Christmas art piece I'll take some beautiful foiled um, wrapping paper and wrap the art piece and, and put a bow on it. it looks like a present on the wall I got this really for functional too because I like um, in the family room where you saw the flock trees that is going to be like the reds the greens so I wanted to get some paper and this is a lot and um, oh I forgot these were both five dollars ten dollars but on 50% off they were both five dollars from Hobby Lobby um, so Hobby Lobby has beautiful wrapping paper so I really suggest that you go there to get wrapping paper it's beautiful it's a lot like um, this particular one has 100 feet for five dollars y'all 100 feet that's excellent for five dollars I also got um, in this room right now it's still full that's not the right way I'm anal like that but <laughs> in this house it's still full uh, but I'm gonna decorate the tree in my next video you're gonna see me decorate the trees in here so in this formal living area these are my themed colors I'm really really excited um, so I got these from Hobby Lobby they are I think they're four inch Um, yeah, I don't see the size, but I believe these are four inches. And the price was $23.98. So half off, these were like $12 or so. So I got these um, to go with all the other red and gold decor I already have. Like I didn't even need to buy a lot. All right, so. I'm really excited about this find. So I am doing a gingerbread slash peppermint theme in the kitchen for the first time. And of course I needed a, a mat. I could not find a good mat online that I really liked. I mean, I saw some gingerbread mats, but those gingerbread, they look too brown, like too extra. Like I wanted my, my kitchen to be like, um, red and white and bright and a lot of the mats were dark but when i saw this one in hobby lobby baby i was like dee, 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 dee. <laughs> so it's gorgeous so i want to put that in my kitchen and this one was 17.99 so half off like nine dollars so this was nine dollars um which is i usually pay like six dollars for a normal mat so I upped it because I really don't keep my mats. Um, comment below if you keep your mats year to year um, in your kitchen and how do you keep them clean. I don't I don't really keep them year to year. I know once I use it, once people step on it, once I mop it and stuff, I just throw it in the trash. Um, so I usually don't pay that much for mats, but because I'm doing the theme, I, I pay a little extra. Um, I found this. Now I have to look online to see what people use this ladder for. It seems like you can use it to hang it as if Santa's going to be going up the ladder like on your tree. Or I can hang a gingerbread man on here or something. So I thought it was cute. It was um, $12.11.99. So I got it for $6. And I got one um, just to try it. Uh, but I thought it was cute. And I can just, you could, it has like this big hole here where you just hang it anywhere. So. I want to figure out what I'm going to do with this decorative ladder. Also for my um, gingerbread theme, I found this gorgeous beaded rope. I like how it has this at the end. So yeah, I'm feeling this so cute. I got this for Five dollars. The original price is ten dollars. So I got actually got two of them for ten dollars. I got two of them. I know for sure I want to put one on my tear tray. I don't know why I put the other one. Sometimes I put it on the in the middle of the island. Uh, so we'll see. But I thought that was really cute. Um, for my tablescape, I do not have gingerbread plates. I have like Christmas tree plates. Um, so I found these poinsettia um, mats and it was two mats for $5 on sale, two mats for $2.50. So I got both of these for $5 because they were both half off. 
So this one was 250, this one was 250, and it made four, which is all I wanted. Even though my um, table seat six, what happens on a normal basis is that my family does not like to eat where the decor is. I always leave like two, um, the two end chairs without the heavy decor so people can sit down <laughs> and eat. So um, that is for my table and I like that it's like not really foil, but I like that matted, that shiny look rather, that shiny look. So that's for the kitchen. Oh, and I also found these beautiful napkin rings that say Mary. Let me take this out. Wait, they have this in here. All of them say Mary. Okay, none of them say Christmas. They all say Mary. Um, so I was just going to try to find some napkins to put this um, Mary napkin holder. Y'all see that? It's the Mary napkin holder, which I thought was really cute. And this was $2.99 on sale for $1.50 each. So I got four of them to go with the mats. So I also got some signage for the kitchen. Um, I want I have small signs, but I want to get bigger signs. So this is for the hot cocoa bar. So stay tuned for my video on creating a hot cocoa bar. So I got this, it's beautiful. The um, original price was $19.99, so I got it for $10 and you can see the size of it. it's pretty big i really like this and i got a secondary one that said merry christmas because i felt like it would go good with the napkin holders that say merry and it's red and white which is going to be my theme in the kitchen with the gingerbread and this was 14.99 so i got it for about 7.50 lastly i wanted to show you my foliage which is um kind of messy at this point but look at these picks y'all they're two different types and they're very messy so I got this type of pick which is absolutely gorgeous this is for the flock trees in the family room because it's like a flocked foliage I'm gonna put this back in here this stuff is literally getting everywhere so I got two of them get off get off I got two of them and then I got also got and I got three of these flocked berries aren't they gorgeous so this is gonna be my um, centerpiece or my topper or the big flocked tree and here's the third so when you put them together they look like this and then when you add I'm gonna have to cut these stems down. The stems are huge. Then when you add these, look at that. Oh, that's gonna be so festive at the top of the tree. Um, so like I said, stay tuned because in my next video, I'm gonna be decorating these trees so you can um, see them. And the last thing that I want to share with you, um, I paid a little more for this than I wanted to pay, but it's because I wanted the flock. So I got a flocked um, garland for the fireplace. And the price of this was $34.99, which is 35, half of 35 is like what, $18. Yeah, so what's half of 35, y'all? So I just got one um, and I like this. So. You see, I'm trying to change the theme in the family room to a more elegant theme. I usually do like very kitty-like theme in there, but this year I wanted to be a little, I wanted to adult a little bit. So. All right, y'all, so that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching me getting all seven of these trees together. I do have nine trees. One of my trees is in my um, office room and a lot of you see that in my videos. And then I have a tree that I just do like this and a tree stands up. It's already done. Um, that usually goes in the hallway upstairs. And, um, and then I just finished with these seven down here. So thanks for hanging out with me in this Christmas vlog. If you like me and you like my content, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing videos on decorating all these trees. Thank you so much everybody for watching. Until next time, see you later friends.